queen on the river. Dream card for Jeremy there. He now has a full house. Yeah, Olivier thinks his kings up are good here. Yeah. I'm guessing he's trying to make a value bet here. That's a $1.2 million bet. Oh, look at this. The knuckle cracking again. The nonchalant look out into space. I raise. Like I don't know what to do. Well, he announces raise after cracking his knuckles. 4.5. He's going to make it 4.5 million. Jeremy's friends playing footsies there. Well, Olivier just saw this guy bluff off a lot of money and turned up that queen deuce a minute ago when he had aces and kings. So he's wondering, is the guy trying to make another play? Is he just trying to show off for his buddies and making a raise when he doesn't have anything again? So I'm confused right here. There's Lorelai, Olivier's girlfriend. I think that makes sense to me. I mean, virtually all he can be is a bluff here, Vince. I mean, if the guy had a king in his hand, he would not raise it in this spot. Why am I asking to you to call? He must have a full house or a straight to make a raise here. Call. Oh, wow. Well, Olivier is going to make the call, and he is not going to like it as Jeremy turns up a full house. Yeah, full house is good. King's full is good. And the Blue Boys cheer. I don't have a jack, no. I had a king. He never raises a jack ever. It's back off. He's talking to his fans, trying to explain why he made that call on the river. Nice hand, bro. Very nice. Well played. Oh, well, we have a new chip leader again. No, I know. Let's swap back to Jeremy Brown, yeah. the accountant. Nice hand. Got over 18 nice million, well and now Olivier's got down to 12 million. Well, back to the table we go. Action on Olivier. And he looks down at the Highway Patrol, and we've seen that hand a lot here, a 10-4 over and out at this final table. Here it's the 10-4 hearts. Yep, he's raised with it, makes it 800,000. Jeremy with a nine deuce of diamonds, gonna call. I think he's on a little roll right now. And indeed he is. And there comes the flop. Flop comes up 8-7-4. Eight, seven, four. 600. And Jeremy's going to try to steal this. That's 600,000. Olivier with a pair of fours. Jeremy with nothing. Well, Olivier's looking him up with bottom pair here. And rightfully so. Well, Jack of Diamonds comes off. So there on the flop, Jeremy bet with no hand and no draw. All of a sudden, he's got a straight draw and a flush draw. Check. But he's going to check this time. And Olivier behind him is going to check. Going to the river. Oh, the oh. Queen of Diamonds comes off. This gives Jeremy a flush. He is going to win this pot. Now he's going to try to figure out how he can extract chips from his opponent. Just a beautiful river card. Well, there's about 2.8 million in the pot. 1.4. He's going to bet half of that amount. He's going to bet 1.4 million. Nicely calculated by the accountant. Well, if you're sitting in Olivier's seat, you're saying, what could this guy have? You don't put him on a backdoor diamond flush draw. The guy bet on the flop, so you're not going to put him on two diamonds here. In fact, when you play poker, very rare do you put a guy on a backdoor flush, as we say, where he catches one trump card on the turn and one on the river. If he's got it, he's got it, but you just don't put him on it. So he's going to pay him off a bottom pair. All he can beat is a stone bluff. Flush. Yeah, he has a flush. Wow. And Olivier says, wow, because he bet with a nine deuce on that flop. Oh, sick. And that's why he's so surprised. Incredibly stunned. Olivier shaking his head. Jeremy Brown starting to stretch out his lead. So sick. Nice. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more exciting action from Magana in just a moment. Noli Francisco wow. is going to be a Magana champion. Daniel Negreanu is our champion. The amateur poker player is a WPT champion. Well, Mark Newhouse, he is our champion. Roy Winston is a WPT champion. Vivek Rajkumar is our champion. So exciting. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. As you can see, the past champions of the Brigada Poker Open. So many stars emerging from these shores of Atlantic City. Who will it be tonight? And right now, Jeremy Brown, the accountant out of New York, out in front with 21 million. 
Olivier Bousquet with 8.9 million, Mike. Action's on Olivier. He looks down at the 9, 5 of spades on the button. Plans 200 and 400,000. Very hefty. And he's going to make it 800,000 to go. Two million straight. And look at this. Two million by Jeremy Brown with the four deuce off suit. Oh, just a Gus Hansen play, a junk hand. And he's got the chip lead again. He's just trying to apply pressure where the guy will go away. And it might work here because that's a hefty raise when you're just looking at 9 5. But he's going to make the call. So Olivier gambling here with the 9 5 of spade. See if it pays off for him. He's flopped the flush draws come King Jack seven with two spades. And this is what happens when you raise out of position. You're almost committed to fire at this pot, even though you only have a four deuce off suit here. But he's gonna three million. keep this lie going here. He's bet three million dollars. On. All right, quickly. Whoa. Olivier has gone all in with the flush draw. Yes, he has. Really quite uncallable at this point, and Jeremy finally has to lay it down. Well, that's the problem sometimes when you raise with those garbage hands, the four deuce offsuit, because now after the flop, you got to commit more chips to the pot. And there's a case that he could have just saved 4.4 million in chips if he just mucks his hand. Are they bringing the water over here or what? Well, look at this, Jeremy, for the first time tonight, asking for water. I say, bring it with three aspirins and some black coffee. <sighs> And he's still the chip leader. If I could give Jeremy one poker lesson real quick, it would be that money saved is money earned. You're allowed to fold when the guy raises once in a while. I call. Check. Blinds going up to 250 and 500,000. Jeremy with queen nine has just called. And Olivier with 10 eight, content to see the flop. And flop comes 10 seven seven. So Olivier out in front with tens up. He's going to check. 750. Jeremy going to bet. 750,000 is the bet with just queen high. And he's going to get called right here. Yep, and look at this. Jeremy sees the humor in life even when he has nothing. And now a jack comes off. Check. And it does give Jeremy an open end straight draw here. Olivier checks, and Jeremy checks right behind him. Now another 10 comes off at the river. This gives a full house to Olivier. Yep, he's first to act, get the chips out. Yeah, Olivier is going to bet 800,000 here. And there's virtually no hand that Jeremy can beat here. If his opponent had an 8 9, he's got a straight. If he had a 10 or a 7, he's got a full house. If he's got an ace high, he's beat. 2.7. He's going to raise it here. Oh, boy. And he gets a quick call, of course, by Olivier. Well, Olivier's tenth full are going to take down that pot, but that was just a mental block by Jeremy Brown, in my opinion, there. We are right about even. There's no hand he can beat. Once the guy calls you on the flop, give the hand up. You can't beat anything. Coming back with more action. Stay with us on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are at the final table of the Brigada Poker Open. And Vance, this is turning out to be another epic war at the shore. Let's get back to the action. Well, right there, you can see that the accountant from New York, Jeremy Brown, he has 15.6 million. But Olivia Bousquet has come back. He's got about 14.9 million. It is a horse race. It's about a dead heat right now, Vance. As you said, if somebody went in the blinds, could change the chip lead now. That's how small it is. A thousand. Million, you meant? Yeah, oh, sorry. Jeremy with a king five this time. He's raised it to a million dollars. Olivier looks like he's going to call with just a jack ten. All right, so here we go. Comes the flop. Let's come jack nine five. Check. Great flop for Olivier. He's out front with two jacks and checks. And Jeremy catching a pair of fives here, also going to check. He checked bottom pair there. Good discipline. Now a nine comes off. Both players have two pair. Olivier has the top two pair. Jeremy has the bottom two pair. Olivier is going to come out and bet a million and a half here. I call. Jeremy stands him down. Doesn't believe him. He's going to make this call. So a big pot brewing right now between these two men. 
As the crowd stares on, River card coming up. Now well, the four hearts comes off. This card could spell trouble for Jeremy because it's no flush card, no straight card, no over cards. Olivier only put in the value bet. 3.5. I call 3.5 million and quickly called by Jeremy of the jack. Oh, yes, an angry quick call. Well, you can't really blame him for calling there with two fives, Vance. No, looked like his opponent could add a straight draw, a flush draw, real easy the way that hand was played. Wow. Unfortunately for Jeremy, he takes another five million dollar hit. Ooh, really nice in there. Uh, he's talking to himself right now, playing for a long time. Jeremy started playing in college, said he was a madman. Well, he's proven that here tonight as well, but he's going after close to a million bucks. That's the difference. To this hand we go, Olivier, this time with ace three. Cool. Any ace high in a heads-up situation is a pretty good hand, but he just limps in. 1.5 total. And Jeremy Brown has a pair of ladies, queens. He's going to raise it. Yep, he's made it 1.5 million, and he's been called. Well, this could be a good one. Here's the flop. And flop comes nine, seven, deuce with two hearts. Queen's well out in front. It's on him, and he's betting two million. Well, he slams two million in the pot. Olivier quickly gives it up. Yeah, no gains by Olivier. Nice lay down. A mild comeback by Jeremy. On that hand, anyway. So Olivier is still out in front. Guarding his money well. Can he finish off young Jeremy Brown? We will see. Jeremy this time with a lousy five deuce. And he's got the five deuce of spade. He's on the button. 1.2. Well, these are the kind of hands I think that have got him in trouble here. He raised with the four deuce. He raised with all these hands. He takes chances. Yeah, 1.2 million. And Olivier with an ace four makes the call. Here we go with the first three, and look at this three of a kind for Olivier. Unbelievable. It's come four, four, three. He checks the three fours. Jeremy has the open in straight draw. All in. Call. And he goes all in. Well, Olivier has quickly called him, and unfortunately for Jeremy, the ace won't help him. He's got to be dead. I got a four. He I've must four. catch a six. So Olivier, oh, well out front okay, there, about an 85% favorite to win this pot. Three, four, ace. Three, four, ace. Come on. Three, four, ace. Five. Olivier Bousquet has come back from 19 to 1 difference in chips in this final heads up action. Has it all on the line right now. A six is the only card on the turn. It'll give Jeremy the lead. He could catch two running spades. Oh, that's one of spades. Well, there's one of them. Any spade but the three of spade will now win the pot for Jeremy as well as a six. The crowd on their feet, as is Jeremy. He needs some luck. Hold. Can this be it? Well, Olivier knows he's one card away from winning this title. And a five comes up. He's done it. He's going to win the pot with three fours. Olivier has made the greatest comeback in the history of the World Poker Tour. Playing heads up. That's amazing. He goes over to his friends. Hugs for all. Well, boys, let's cheers for that one. A million dollars right now. As Jeremy meets the Blue Boys and slugs down another. Well, there you see the emotions of Olivier. They're all coming out now. There's no crying in poker. You can't blame him, Vance. The guy's captured a WPT title that's been a dream of his. And to do it when you were a 19-1 to chip underdog at one point in this heads-up battle, that is really special. Come on. Your blind's still gone. That's going to do it. Another name in the record books at Regatta. Once again, congratulations to our champion, Olivier Bousquet. <laughs> for Vince Van Patten and everyone at the World Poker Tour, I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. I don't understand what this is for here. <laughs>